It's official. It will be up to Perrysburg voters on whether they want to opt Tard it to operate in their city. Good evening. I'm Laura Emerson. And I'm Sean Hegarty. In a five to two vote, city council members voted to put that issue on the March ballot for the voters to decide. Fox Toledo's Jennifer Steck joins us live with resident concerns and what happens next. Well, the vote was majority in favor of putting it on the ballot, but there was some strong opposition. The two council members that voted no say things are moving too fast and the city needs to have a replacement transportation plan in place first. Sentiment echoed by many members of the public. TARDA has been operating in Perrysburg since the 1970s, but that could all come to an end if the voters say yes in March. We have had many years where we have been paying a great deal of money for services that don't meet our needs. Um, and I think it's more a reflection of that feeling than anything else. The city of Perrysburg and its residents pay $1.5 million in taxes to TARDA every year. Council members don't feel they are getting what they pay for, so it goes to the ballot. But not without cause for concern from many residents on whether the city will be able to find replacement transportation for riders if the issue is approved. I would vote to get rid of TARDA, absolutely get rid of TARDA, if I could in turn at the same time vote to put something else in place. But until I can do that, I'll vote against getting rid of TARDA. If voters approve the issue, TARDA can operate in Perrysburg for six more months until September. But they're not necessarily obligated to do that. Council members feel confident there will be no gap and a replacement will be found for possibly $500,000 cheaper each year. Number one priority for me, I think that we have the groundwork in place to put together um, a very attractive alternative plan. Now, Sylvania Township trustees took a similar step today, putting a TARDA removal on the March ballot as well. According to our media partner, the BG Sentinel Tribune, Rossford has decided to hold off on a similar measure. Reporting live, Jennifer Steck, Fox Toledo News.